Hey everyone, this is Troy Abfalter from the Trio McNair Scholars Program at the College of St. Scholastica. Today we are talking about creating a research proposal. So a research proposal is your blueprint. It's your roadmap to get you started on your research project. Now the main purposes of a research proposal are one, to present and justify the need to study a research problem, and two, to present the practical ways in which the proposed study should be conducted. The first thing that you're going to address in your research proposal is the background or significance of the proposed research. This is really the so what question. How are you adding to the body of knowledge in your field? What will your research study add to what is already known? How will you address the unknowns in your field? So a good place to start is looking into some journal articles that are related to your area of study. Also, you can talk with your faculty mentors and they will be able to provide some insight into how your specific study relates to the bigger universe of research in your field. So the next component of a research proposal is the preliminary hypothesis or research question. What I often see here is students having a very broad question or hypothesis that is not workable for research. So what you want to do is you want to start with that broad area of interest and then narrow it down with how and why questions. So here I want to address three criteria of a good research question. First criteria is that your research question is focused. So let's take a look at these two questions. Which do you think is more focused? Which do you think has a clear focus for which data can be collected, analyzed, and discussed? My money would be on the second question. The second criteria of a good research question is that it is subjective. It compares variables to tell us something interesting. So let's take a look at these two questions. Which is factual and which is comparative? Which would tell us something more interesting about the world and how it works? Seeing a trend here again, the second question. The third criteria of a good research question is that it is appropriately complex. And here you are really striking a balance between something that is simple and something that is complex. And if we look at these two questions, we can see that the second question provides a lot more detail and specificity that would allow us to do an interesting and relevant research project. So the question to you is, does your proposed research question meet those three criteria of a good research question? Okay, so the next component of a research proposal is proposed research methods. And you can take course after course on specific research methods. For the sake of today's video, the key point is that your research methodology should have a coherent connection to your research question. It's not just a list of tasks for you to complete, but it's specific things that you are going to do in order to answer your question. And the last component of a research proposal that we will address today are potential ethical issues. And there are myriad different potential ethical issues that your faculty mentor can provide guidance on. If you're working with uh, human subjects, you will need to do an institutional review board process. And there is also a corollary called the Aya Cook if you are working um, in an animal model. All right, folks, that is all that we have here for you today. Until next time, have a good day.